Okay, so this is a retrograde urethrogram. Okay, so this is this is the relevant image here. What do you think? Uh, two urethras. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um so um yes it you know when i the patient um has not been instrumented uh and um so this is uh and then if you see there's this communication and there's kind of this fuzzy um you can, i don't know if you can see it but you see a little bit of this um striation a little bit Um, so this is any any thoughts on what you think this is? Okay. Um, so um, this is a perforate syringal seal. Um, so here's a, a great radiographics paper. Um, so a Cowper's gland. So um, the Cowper's gland are normal anatomic structures. Uh, here, let me. This is the the really nice radiographics review. Um, so let me just show you the anatomy of the Cowper's gland in men. Here, um, so the the this is the prostate urethra penis. Um, so the Cowper's gland comes out of the bulba urethra, um, and then it goes in and there into the urogenital diaphragm. Um, so this. Sometimes when we do retrograde urethrogram, the this can distend, and you can get congenital anomalies as well uh, that affect the Cowper's gland, the Cowper's duct. Uh, so there are different kinds of. Uh, so in the this is a great review of MR actually. Uh, the the actual gland is in the urogenital diaphragm here at the level of the um, membranous urethra, um, and then the duct itself comes out from the bulbous urethra. And into the duct, and then it goes into the glands laterally. Um, so on retrograde urethrogram, what you see is this: the duct distends, and then the glands uh, it fills. Um, but you can get congenital anomalies, so you can get perforate syringal seal, so it remains open, um, and then it can be closed, so you have what looks like a Cowper's gland cyst, um, and then it can uh, stay. It could be like this, uh, open, and then there can be an open. So there, there's there, there's different kind of var variations of that. Um, so this is a Cowper's gland syringal seal. These are different types of syringal seals uh, that we can see. And so if we look back at this study, you can see this is the Cowper's gland here. And then this is the actual gland that's filling. Sorry, this is the duct. And then this is the gland that's filling. Um, so that's what it is. Um, if the patient has had prior instrumentation, the other differential consideration is a false channel. So patients can get traumatic Foley catheter placement, and they can essentially create a, a channel, a false channel, uh, you know, that can, um, and then, you know, th then the patients, you know, obviously will have difficulty with voiding and things like that. So that's the other um, consideration.